Dr. Misra, director of the All India Institute for Medical Science. Professor Pierre Beguet, vice chairman of the French Academy of Medicine. Professor André Laurent Parodi, honorary chairman of the French Academy of Medicine. Distinguished professors, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I would like to start by saying a very sincere thank you for uh, observing that minute of silence and for the kind support, the words of support you had uh, the days before when we've been discussing about these events in Paris. I know you, your country has been going through the same kind of event and you will understand exactly how we feel today, shocked and uh, saddened, very saddened, obviously. But at the same time, we decided not to cancel. We decided to maintain this forum because we believe, and I know you believe as well, that it is the best answer. The best answer is to keep on moving ahead. I would like to thank the speakers who made a point for coming here. They had many reasons to stay in Paris. They had many reasons to stay with our friends and families, and I would like to thank them for coming. Um, two of them couldn't come because they had to stay in Paris due to their uh, professional duties in the aftermath of this event. So I will excuse Mr. Martin Hirsch and Dr. Agnes uh, Suze, sorry, for not being here today. They asked us to apologize, but they had to stay there. So let me anyway welcome you in this forum, this first forum for uh, medical uh, and uh, innovation first form in India. We are very pleased to uh, welcome you. Um, I would like to express my our deep gratitude to Ames, to Dr. Misra and Dr. Srinivas, who decided to host and uh, organize this uh, forum. As you know, bilateral collaboration in the fields of Healthcare, medical science, research is a very important factor uh, when it comes to the relationship that India and France share. And as you know as well, India, like France, has always been, has always had a very long tradition of excellence in terms of research, medical research. And I will take very fast three examples. As you know, in 1896 was created the Plague Laboratory that became the Hafkite Institute. Dr. Hafkite was a French professor from Institut Pasteur in Paris, and he came here and with Indian scientists, he developed the Plague vaccine, which was the first vaccine ever developed in India. Another example, in 1910 was created the Mal Malaria Institute which is known today as the National Center for Disease Control. And that center has become the reference to, our, to the place where people, where people go and talk when they want to know more about malaria control. And last but not least, the All India Institute for Medical Science was created in 1956 and became very fast a benchmark when it comes to education patient care and research, and this not only at the national level, but also at the international level. And the Institute publishes, as you know, the uh, National Medical Journal of India, which is one of the most well-known scientific publications in this country. I'm talking about that just to explain and to say in a few words, to remind you that India has always been extremely determined in terms of being at the forefront of scientific and medical innovation. And that's exactly what our foundation is all about. The foundation of the French Academy of Medicine has a mission, and that mission is to enhance and deepen the relationships between countries, between India and France, to help disseminating fast 
the up-to-date practices and the uh, scientific knowledge throughout the world. So that's why we have this forum. But I'd like you to know that this forum is different from many other symposiums because we want to talk not only to the medical community, to doctors, to um, you know, stu medical students, but we want to talk to a larger public. So our target audience are scientists, journalists, policy makers, patient organizations, uh, social networks, online communities, educators. And why is that? Why? For a very simple reason. As you all know, um, the uh, life expense is, is, is going very fast. And at the same time, uh, medical progress is going very fast as well. And the result is that the expense per capita, the, uh, the expenditure per capita, the medical expense are increasing uh, extremely fast all over the world to such a degree that it's a huge burden on public expenditures and it's going to be very difficult in the future. So we believe it's our role at our own level to try and help all the world and all the citizens of the world to try and understand better the key issues, the key health issues they are facing. And at the same time, they should understand the benefit of a you know, healthier lifestyle and better nutrition. So that's why, as Dr. Shriniva said, many of the issues we're going to discuss today and tomorrow are not only uh, issues of public health, but issues that could be interesting for the general public. For instance, the uh, relationship between uh, you know, the dietary habits and the cardiovascular risks, um, tobacco control, we're going to discuss innovation, surgery simulation, uh, online treatment, and we're going to discuss as well the effect of aging and the effect of pollution on skin. So all these issues we believe are interesting for the general public, and this is why we want these speeches and these uh, interventions to be available for a very large audience. So in case you don't know, everything that's going to be said here today and tomorrow will be streamlined on a special channel we have on YouTube, dedicated channel for the foundation. And podcasts will be available as well online and on the foundation uh, um, site. So again, we hope that many, many people, not only in India, not only in France, will be aware and will know what we will be discussing uh, today and tomorrow. One last point. We don't see that forum as a one-off event. We'll come back every two or three years if you accept to invite us again. We will come back because we see it as the first of a series of forums. We want to create a long-lasting collaboration. We want to deepen that rela uh, uh, our relationships. We would like you know, people to meet today and tomorrow and they would start discussing month after month so that in between forums there is more collaborations and more discussions. So this is what I wanted to share with you today to tell you a little more about what is the foundation, what is our goal, what is our mission. And I would like to end uh, with, uh, thanking many, many people. I would like first to thank, again, the speakers. We will share their knowledge, their expertise, their experience, and I would like to thank them for volunteering their time and coming here. I would like to thank Ames, Dr. Shridevas, <laughs> Dr. Misra, all their teams, Dr. Singh, Dr. Yogesh, Dr. Vigas. So thank you very much for everything you've done for us in the, in the, in the last weeks. I would like to thank, obviously, on the French side, uh, Professor Champentier, Professor Juillet, Professor Daniel Couturier, and uh, C.B. Géry, who's our delegate, for helping us organizing all these things, as well as Mr. Parody again. So thank you very much. And... Uh, Last but not least, a little word about Igor Strauss from Radio France International and, um, and Bertrand de Goff from Babel Press, who's going to report, going to cover that event. Last but not least, I would like to thank you all for being here. You know, I was thinking of what I would say to you today, and I was looking at some papers and books, and I found a quote from Mahatma Gandhi. I'm sure 80% of you know that quote, but Mahmoud Gandhi said once, <laughs> live as if you were to die tomorrow, but learn as if you were to live forever. 
So I hope you will learn a lot in the coming days. I hope you will, you will think this session will be fruitful and inspiring. And I hope you will get the best out of these two days. Thank you for listening. I wish you all the best.